feel that there's an issue that directly affects my fellow teachers and it needs to be addressed. I love being a teacher more than anything. Um, there's no better feeling than helping a kid learn and become successful. To see that light bulb finally turn off in their head or turn on in their head. Um, <laughs> um, but I wouldn't have found the success here at Warrington if it wasn't for my colleagues. Uh, as a new teacher, my peers offered me mentorship and accepted me right away, and I continue to have their support, and people bounce ideas off them to get a advice for. My fellow teachers are my constant force that helps me when I'm uncertain. And if you ever have to reflect back as a new teacher, you know that you're not going to make it unless you have that to become successful. They are everything you need to be. And Wharton was great for me, and they helped push that for me. Um, and then this year, there was a huge shift in teacher behavior and everything became on edge, and there's tension, and the, the cheery disposition started to decline. And I'm sure it's easy to place blame because there's new laws, and there's Senate bills, and there's Common Core standards, and though they're contributing factors, they're not the underlying force of fear that's in our hallways. Um, two words come to my mind, and that's no protection. Our contract currently doesn't hold a just cause clause, and this is a basic plan to identify if there's a good reason for disciplinary action that follows things like due process, a fair investigation, and equal treatment. So why is there a sudden need to change? Why does it have to happen now? Well, the year is full of blending new things together. We teach plans, we have to make plans, keep schedules, learn new grade books, learn new standards, learn new curriculum, new observation programs, have meetings on the observation programs, have meetings on observations that you just had in your class. I have to go to meetings, be updated on PSYOP, GLAD, Concord alignment, go through multiple trainings. We meet with kids before school, at lunch, after school. I'm my own janitor, service, and supply keeper. All of that comes from me. And I normally would say things come with a learning curve and we could joke about that stuff, like, oh, I have to take out the trash, except for somehow it's not humorous anymore because the eggshells that we have to walk around in our school, because recent things that seem minuscule, like taking out the trash, can now end up like a um, directive placed in my file because I wasn't done in a timely fashion. And you say, well, if on the bottom of the statement, maybe this will never happen again, or this will not happen again in a statement. Well, what happens if it does? Are there going to be fair statements? Am I reassured? The thought that some of your heads could be that we should trust you, and maybe our administration should be trusted. And I would agree with that statement. However, sometimes language is used outwardly, like you are replaceable when we're all in a group setting from our administration. And maybe that's true, but it creates a trust issue with me. Instead, it makes me wonder, when is the target going to be on my back? When is the focus going to be turned towards me? So I have a huge load every day to fulfill. And every time there's that pressure and it feels like that uploading is coming on me, how am I supposed to do my job every day to the purpose that you are expecting me to?